Tim, you ready to jump in here this week with your first square? Yeah, uh, my first square this week is actually going to be Darnell Mooney. I really like the matchup against Detroit. A lot of this is going to be matchup based. Detroit is the worst team in the league in terms of yards per play given up, which is a big deal when it comes to how Mooney is going to probably operate in this game, which is going to be through the air, big plays through the air. I, I'm expecting him to get at least one, maybe two. One of those might include a touchdown if they can tackle him or not. They've also given up 31 plays of 20 yards or more this season, which is, I believe, fifth worst in the league. So they're really in the bottom group of, of defenses uh, denying the big play. They're 26 in passing yards, which is – this is – the next thing is very interesting. They're 12th in attempts given up, but they're 20th in completions. So they're they're like the one of the most inefficient passing defenses because about the amount of yards they give up versus the amount of – actual completion so they're big completions and then they're 20th in touchdowns the game this week is supposed to be 48 and a half over under so they're the vegas is expecting points as well so i think this is going to be a very good game where the teams are going to travel up and down the field um like i said that last in the league that's six point yards per play mooney's only gotten one touchdown this this year so he hasn't been touchdown dependent he hasn't been good in every week but we're seeing a progression, um, especially when it comes to connecting deep or connecting down the sideline with fields. And I think that this is going to be one of those games that does that. Yeah. As I well, mean, the- well, last thing I was going to say is that Chicago actually traded a lot of their defensive players away, the key ones. And I think that's going to impact scoring as well, which then will put the onus back on Chicago to respond. Yeah. Um, you know, Chicago has been scoring a lot more of late. We'll get into that a little bit more with the next player. But with Darnell Mooney, I mean, the first three weeks were just so brutal for people's confidence for him. But since then, he really has not killed you. Five for 85 in week four, uh, you know, five receptions. It was only 52 in week five, uh, 12 receptions week six, six, five, eight last week. Again, I mean, that's not killing your lineup. That's, you know, wide receiver four, wide receiver three type numbers. Um, you could do much worse than Darnell Mooney. And, you know, with this week, Fantasy Pros has him at wide receiver 30 on the week. We have him at wide receiver 32 on the week. Uh, I think I think he's a very, very safe play inside that range. And honestly, I'm here with Tim where I probably like him a little bit higher than that consensus for this week. I'm pretty bullish on the entire Chicago offense and their recent form. And I'm, I'm even pro- probably trying to find ways to sneak a guy like Khalil Herbert into lineups um, this week where I can just Detroit is Detroit's a matchup where you, you want to get everyone in there. I mean, we have Khalil Herbert currently at running back 28, but I, I I'm kind of tempted to put him in as a top 24 type guy, a low in RB two, if you really need a pinch this week. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm big in this matchup. Detroit has, they've been lining up not just a lot of plays, but a lot of big plays. And that's, that's what we like to target, especially with our wide receivers and a big play guy like Darnell Mooney. Something I like too, about Herbert, um, I didn't include him this week in any of the picks, but I think because he doesn't require a lot of touches to be productive and be worthwhile in to be put into a lineup. So if he ends up getting more and more touches, it's only going to be more useful, but this could be a week in which he, he gets three very valuable carries and one of them goes for a touchdown. Yeah. I mean, that would, that would be huge. 